The Georgia High School Tournament gets underway this week, and that is music to the ears of Rise Hoops, Dan McDonald and Carter Wilson. I'm Corey McCartney, joined by the guys from Rise. Fellas, welcome back in. Yeah, thanks for having us, Corey. Thanks, Corey. Now, guys, we spent the season with our rewind, fast forward, and now we're only looking ahead. So let's open things up with the player to watch in your mind in the Georgia tournament. Dan, who are you keeping an eye on? Yeah, so I mentioned last week, I was there when Jabari Smith lost last year. I saw how crushed he was. I, I felt the same way when I saw Milton lose last year when uh, Bruce Thornton and those guys took a loss to in the semifinals. And I know all year just from talking to people around Bruce, talking to Bruce, that, that he's – He's got nothing on his mind but winning a state championship. It doesn't matter if he's got to score 30 points a game or average 30 assists a game. Like He just wants to win a state championship. So I'm really curious to see how he comes out and plays these next few weeks. And big-time players come up in big-time moments, so we'll see what's in store for Bruce Thornton. Carter, who are you going with? I'm going with London Johnson at Norcross. Um, I think that Norcross has uh, quite a road ahead out of them. Um, and for a younger guard, I think he's got kind of the challenge to kind of really cement himself among the best guards in the States. Uh, in the state, um, they they started off with Denmark, and he's kind of got a matchup there against uh, senior Sutton Smith, who's going to uh, UAH, and then another UAH guard potentially in the second round uh, with North Gwinnett's Brendan Rigsby. So he's kind of got these, uh, he's kind of the underclassman that's got these matchups against uh, senior guards, and I just think that he could have a really good opportunity here to really put himself on, among the top. Since we know you guys have been pouring over the brackets, give me a matchup that you believe is the best matchup that's on paper right now. Uh, Carter, we'll start with you on this one. I'm looking to 6A. I'm looking at Centennial and South Cobb. Um, I think it's a really good matchup. I think both teams have some good size. They have senior leadership. South Cobb really came on strong at the end of the year, and Centennial had a great year as well. Um, I think there's a lot of good potential matchups in that. Um, you know, Logan Turner and Kyle Duncan, and they kind of came on really strong for Centennial all year. Um, and in South Cobb, uh, they just they have so much size, so much versatility, and you know they have a lot of athleticism. It'll be a really tough challenge for Centennial, and it, that's going to be a dogfight. Dan, what game do you have penciled? Yeah, so Carter kind of just touched on it. it was the Denmark-Norcross uh, game. Because a lot of times what you'll see happen is the way the region tournaments shape up, you kind of get these funky first-round matchups where teams that are really good, like Norcross, are losing their semifinals. So then now they got to travel and go play a really good Denmark team. So, you know, Carter mentioned the guard matchup between Sutton Smith and London Johnson, but those front court matchups are going to be really good too. So I'm really curious to see how that one plays out. Okay, it's predictions time. So we're first going to go with your first round prediction. Uh, be as bold as you want to on this one. Dan, uh, what do you have for us? I was looking at the 1A private bracket, and I I see two or three one seeds out of regions that I think I, I'm going to put on upset alert. I'm not going to call it anybody in particular, but I, I could see one of those teams going down on uh, at this week. Well, they're all on notice now. So Carter, uh, what's your pick? I'm going to throw the awareness out there too, but I'm going to do it in 7A. Uh, I mean, we've talked about how wide open this whole bracket is. Um, I could definitely see one of these region winners going down. I mean, you have to bring it every game for this. I mean, every team in this is, has a, the, the opportunity and the chance to beat any of these other teams. I mean, it, it's, it's really is wide open. So to those, to those region winners, you're not safe. I mean, bring your A game from day one. I'm, that's, that's all I can say, or else you, know, you could end up being, being a loser in the first round. <laughs> a one seed region winner nobody no one's going to be comfortable going into <laughs> this week so let's talk about championship predictions dan who's going to be taking home some hardware i really really like kel's chances in the 6a bracket you know they just went in and beat wheeler at their place for a region championship on saturday night or friday says so friday night but um that team man the way they defend like their guards are so scrappy i just i think unless you're a really really solid ball handling team like it's going to be tough to play against those guys and and I also think one thing you really need to have to win a state championship is you got to have a guy that's going to carry you. Well, they got one of the best in the state with Scoot Henderson, who, you know, he had a 50 point game a few weeks ago and routinely, routinely gets into the 30. So I, I think they're a scary team. The only thing they don't have is the size, but I think, I think they've found a way to make it work without having that 6 8 guy that inside. I, I think they're a scary team in that 6 8 bracket. Well, certainly an opportunity for Henderson to star once again. Carter, who's your pick? I'm going to take a little bit of a cop out here and I'm not going to pick a pure winner, but I'm going to say that uh, Milton ends up playing Grayson again in the seven, a seven, a state championship. They played in December and had a, it was a great game. I think we see another one of those. Um, 
I'm not, I'm not going to pick a winner because those are two really good teams and, and it could be just a complete toss up, but I think that's what we get in the seven, a state championship. Well, the storyline started and go back to Bruce Thornton and Milton Carter and Dan will have the entire tournament covered. So make sure you're following rise hoops on Twitter and Instagram and getting over to risehoops.com as well. Guys, thanks. And we'll get back at it next week. Yeah. Thanks Corey. Thanks Corey.